New to Instagram and want to learn what it's all about? We are here to help. I'm Jessica, and this video will be our beginner's guide to Instagram, where I'll teach you all the basics of using the app. Now let's get started. If you haven't downloaded Instagram yet, check out our tutorial on how to install the app on your smartphone. We'll have it linked in the description box below. Once you have the Instagram app set up and have created your account, this is what the main homepage looks like. At the top, you'll see Instagram stories from people you follow. You can tap someone's profile icon in this menu to watch their story. Stories are temporary posts that disappear after 24 hours, so they're a great way to share what you're up to in the moment. Check out our beginner's guide to Instagram stories to learn more about this feature. As you scroll the main portion of your feed, you'll see feed posts from accounts you follow, sponsored posts, and suggested posts that Instagram thinks you'll like. If you only want to see posts from people you follow, tap Instagram at the top and select Following. You can also add your friends to Favorites and look at just your Favorites feed. Check out our video on the Favorites and Following feeds to learn more. If you see a post you like, you can tap the heart icon to like it. Tap the speech bubble icon to get to the comment section. Here you can read other people's comments and add a comment of your own if you want to. Tap the paper airplane button to share a post. You can tap the name of one of your friends to share it in a direct message to them. Or use the options at the bottom of the menu to share a post to your story, copy a link, or share it to another social media app. If you tap the message icon in the top right corner of the home screen, you'll be taken to Instagram's messaging interface. Here you can message your friends and have audio and video calls. At the top of the message interface, you'll see the notes section. This is a place to share short text posts that only people you follow who you follow back can see. Check out our video on Instagram notes to learn more about this feature. You can see your other notifications by tapping the heart icon in the top right corner. Here you'll see when someone likes or comments on one of your posts, tags or mentions you in their own post, or follows you. If you tap the magnifying glass in the menu at the bottom, you'll be taken to the Instagram Explore page. Here you'll see featured posts and reels Instagram thinks you'll like based on your activity on Instagram. The more you use the app, the better tailored the Explore page will be to your personal taste. In the search bar at the top, you can search for a topic you want to see posts about, or type in the name of someone you'd like to follow. If you search for a user, you can tap their name to go to their profile and check out their posts. Tap Follow to follow them and see their posts and stories in your home feed. While you may see reels from people you follow in your main feed, they'll be mixed in amongst feed posts. To see a feed of only reels, go to the Reels tab. If you want to post a reel, tap the plus sign at the bottom and select Reel in the menu. Check out our full guide on how to use Instagram Reels to learn how to make Reels videos. Now that we've taken a tour through most of the Instagram app, let's talk about how to create your own posts. To share a post on Instagram, tap the plus sign in the menu at the bottom. Then you can choose the type of post you want to share. A regular feed post is the default post option, but you can also post to your story or create a reel here. Select a photo or video you want to post, or tap the carousel icon to get the option to share multiple images in one post. You can add up to 20 images in a carousel. Next, you can edit your image with text and filters and make adjustments like brightness, saturation, and more. If you're posting a carousel, swipe to the image you want to edit to edit each of them differently if you like. When you're finished editing, tap Next. Now you can add a caption for your post. You can include hashtags or mention a friend in your caption if you like. Use the number sign followed by a word to add a hashtag. Use the add symbol followed by someone's username to mention them. 
You can also tag the location where your image was taken and even add music to your post. When you're ready to post it, tap Share. Tap the profile icon in the bottom menu to go to your own Instagram profile. Here you can see your own posts and reels and posts you've been tagged in. You can also see a count of how many posts you've shared, how many followers you have, and how many other users you follow on Instagram. You can edit your profile by tapping Edit Profile. Here you can update your name, bio, links, and more. To access your settings and information about your usage of Instagram, tap the menu icon in the top right corner of your profile. Here you can find the Accounts Center where you can update your security settings and preferences, as well as your saved and archived posts, your activity, notifications, and time management data. If you scroll down, you can adjust various settings for who can see your Instagram content, how others can interact with you, what you see on Instagram, your app settings, and more. That does it for our beginner's guide to Instagram. To learn more about specific Instagram features, check out our playlist of Instagram tutorials. Click the playlist on your screen now to watch. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, we'd love it if you'd hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel. We put out great new tech tutorials like this one every day.